Hello guys, welcome to uh, a new series of ES on K3F. So let's start by creating a folder. Make it Yes, go to ES. Yes. So here in the series, we'll be provisioning Elasticsearch ES on K3S. So Elasticsearch on K3S. K3S is a live with Kubernetes. So live with Kubernetes. And Elasticsearch is a search engine. So maybe we'll talk about this uh, in detail in your coming, coming uh, modules. So let's start by uh, cloning my repo that is on GitHub. So let's go over here. Okay, so by the time uh, my browser opens, I'll be, uh, let me go to the overview. So overview will be ES cluster on K3S. So prerequisites prerequisites are you should have K3S installed. So let's go and check over here if you have QCTL already running. It is already there, kubectl get nodes. So this is my lab environment and I have single node installed. This is the one. So yeah. So we I have divided this into different modules. Module one. One contains the Pre setup module two two contains setting up up the master notes module module three setting up setting up data notes. and client node and so on good <clears throat> so uh, i have our uh, browser open let's go to my github as we have already made a folder called es so let's go to es and let's go and clone this repo so you can go ahead and this do a clone. So I did clone. Yeah. So I was talking on prerequisites. So this is module one. In this, we will be doing a pre setup. Pre setup includes creating a namespace, creating a headless service. Which will help in service discovery for I mean it's only used for service discovery for uh, the ES nodes and uh, it has it only contains the endpoints the list of endpoints behind it. Three is we we'll create a limits for uh, memory and CPU. CPU good let's go ahead and check. So we have this already cloned. So let's go inside. We have a folder called Prerix. So okay. So let's check the namespace file. So we are going to create a namespace called ELK. Kubectl get name and grab for ELK. We don't have ELK there, as you can see. So we are going to create it. Kubectl create minus set namespace dot yaml. Sorry, spelling mistake. So 
So we have this already. Provision. Now let's change the context. Context T E X T. Estimate the current context is E L K. So by default, the current uh, the current namespace will be point A point is to is a default. So uh, now let's go for the next one. We are going to create a headless service. If you go to see a headless service, there is it is just going to create a service and it will point to the master as a backend and it has no cluster IP. So uh, Q C T L K minus F headless. So here there is no namespace specified. So whenever you are going to create in this namespace, is going to create in, in the in namespace which we are currently in. If you are not specifying any namespace, so uh, let's see. Get SVC. You can see, and you can just describe. Describe SVC. So since there is only one SVC, so it will describe the first one. I mean, it, it describes all the uh, all the SVCs one by one. So we don't specify the name. So we have as we see created name created let's go and create the uh, limit range so limit range is for the namespace for every pod in this namespace get limit range yeah and describe so I have set very minimum limit range because my spec on my machine is very less you can do it accordingly so, uh, so that's it that's it for this module guys so module module one one is completed with the pre setup yeah so in next module we'll be uh, provisioning the es cluster so I'll be, we'll, we'll be talking on master nodes and we'll be going through uh, what is ES cluster and uh, how are things distributed, how traffic flows, how uh, data goes into it and, and setting up the master. So that's it for this guys. Uh, see you in next module. Thank you. Hello guys. 